Howdy. Welcome. Thank Great you to be here. here. Thank Good. you for the invite. Glad Appreciate to have it. you back, yeah, as thank always. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, we got a couple of tchotchkes on the table, and I know we're going to talk about these and talk yeah. about why they exist. Yes, sir. Um, so we're going to get into that. Now, uh, if you've got questions, ladies and gentlemen, put them in the uh, comment section. Uh, let us know what you want to talk about or what you want to learn from Lumens. Chris said he will tell you everything, even the <laughs> stuff he's not supposed to because his bosses aren't watching today. Yes, sir. So we will certainly... Uh, yeah, can keep him in trouble yeah. on that side. Um, so a couple of things. So we've got the Cam Connect Pro. Yes, sir. I know Jordan's got the UI up, so we can talk a little bit about what's going on in this box, what it does. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got a couple of new cameras that are launching as well that yeah. look kind of like this one over here. Yep. So we can talk about that. Um, okay, so first, what is big with Lumens right now? What's going on with you guys? Oh, man, uh, a lot going on with uh, auto tracking. Obviously, our Cam Connect box, uh, which does audio preset tracking. Uh, we've added to our uh, auto tracking camera lineup. Uh, we're also uh, jumping on board with uh, Dante AVH with uh, some of our solutions. So we've got a lot of new stuff happening. So I heard like auto tracking in there like five times, or maybe yeah. my brain just only hears auto tracking now whenever <laughs> I think cameras. What's going on with auto tracking right now? Why is it, why, why is everybody doing so much of it? Well, I, I think there's just this this uh, desire to remove the the labor required to to move the camera and just automate everything. And in the early days, auto tracking was great, I think, in theory. But uh, to execute that, um, it was really difficult to uh, you know have a good uh, user experience uh, that wasn't distracting. There were issues with uh, the tracking. But as AI has come about, and uh, like with Lumen's product, AI facial recognition, uh, the auto tracking tracking has become a lot more reliable and uh, a lot more usable. Now, is it is the AI version of this in all the current camera line? Is that how that's um, that's running? Yes, sir. Uh, all, all the tracking cameras are AI facial recognition. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you say facial recognition, it's not that it recognizes Chris. It recognizes that you're human, right? Correct. Yeah, Correct. And it, and it yes. wants to follow you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, so I think that's important. So as as we kind of look at that, who's who's the big driver on this right now in terms of who's using it? Like, is the demand is still high in education, or where else is it going? Yeah, um, there's high demand in uh, higher ed. Uh, higher ed are, are a huge uh, user of this. Also, the house of worship market. Uh, you you have a, uh, a minister or somebody at the front of the room moving back and forth, and uh, you know instead of having a volunteer operate the camera, uh, they can participate in the in the service and have it automatically track the uh, preacher. So uh, a number of applications, but uh, I would say mostly a those two. Roving pastor yeah. on a PTZ yeah. camera is there always a nightmare, right? <laughs> because like you never know where they're going to go. You can yeah. watch their heels, you can watch their shoulders, you can yeah. think they're going to pivot, yeah. and they're going to do their own thing, right? And it's just like uh, you know, so there's the and trying to keep up with the pastor yep. on the joystick yep. is always hard. So having that AI yep. that can say, okay, cool, yep. like the shows, you know, the show, the music's over, pastor's on, yeah, turn the AI function on and let yep. it roll. Right? Absolutely, yeah, kind of like following Angus Young at an ACDC concert with a follow spot. You know, one minute he's there, one minute he's there. You know, it AI, yeah, 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 AI yeah. definitely helps. Yeah. Okay. When was the last time you were at an ACDC concert? I mean, oh on. gosh, come on, two two thousand and one. The fact that you know so quickly is yeah, impressive. Yeah, two thousand and one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, fair enough. Been to three of them. Yeah. Okay. So all of that to be said. So there's the new TR60. Yeah. Right. And the, what's so what's going on in the TR60? So in, in case anybody's wondering, it looks a little like this. Yeah. This isn't the sixty. This is the no. forty. Yes. Correct. Uh, but it looks it's going to keep the same body style. Yeah. Yeah. What's different in the 60 versus the 40, and why would anybody consider it? Okay, so the 60 is our 4K, uh, 4K 60 frame per second tracking camera. It is a single lens tracking camera as opposed to a dual lens. The 40 here on the yep. table is a dual lens. Flip that around the so can see yep, the, uh, the the 60 does not have that uh, lower panoramic lens there. Uh, the 60 has also uh, got a 81 degree field of view. And good. is 12 times optical zoom, so it's ideal for a uh, small to medium sized room. Uh, it has our four uh, standard ports, your IP with PoE, HDMI, 3G SDI, and HDMI. And uh, all four of those ports are hot simultaneously. Another nice thing about the 60 is, uh, like the 40, you can invert it. 
So if you don't want to use the uh, ugly J pole, you can invert it and stick it on the ceiling. Which is was was a problem with the tracking cameras for a while. They yeah. all had to be vertical. Yeah. They had to keep upright, especially if they were doing a two lens solution. Yeah. Right. So you had to keep that that lens upright effectively. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is good, especially if you're at an ACDC concert. You yep. want to stay upright, or they will kick you out. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, or you get stomped on. Oh, that hurts too. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So 4K, it's got the tracking. Uh, you know, it's it, it, the the field of view. Mm -hmm. I think is an interesting one because we're getting more and more requests for wider field of view yeah. cameras. Yeah. I think people are trying to do more with a single lens yes. than they could before. Mm -hmm. The other one that's become pretty a, a pretty common call through the sales team right now is hot ports. How many ports are hot? Yeah. Right. Because what I'm seeing is a lot of people are utilizing um, different tools at the same time. Mm -hmm. They're pulling NDI or IP. Mm -hmm. They're maybe using the HDMI, but they're also using the USB. So they're yeah. looking for cameras that have all ports active yes. simultaneously. Yes. And and both the TR40 and the TR60 uh, have the four hot ports uh, with, with the POE as well. So, no, that's big. That's yeah. Big, that's big. Yeah. Um, now, the one other one that I, I, I've got to mention is 71. Sure. And the 71, I think this one's really the broadcast camera, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of these are really designed for, you know, kind of multi-tiered events. Yeah. But what makes the 71 stand different from the rest of these? Well, the 71, uh, the 71 isn't a tracking camera per se. Uh, we have the, we have a, we have several 71 models. The 71 um, PHN, which is our big guy with Genlock. Yep. And uh, is full NDI. Uh, we have the uh, the 71 SN, which is an NDI camera, um, and then we have the 71P, which is uh, IP camera, no NDI. So um, they're more our broadcast cameras. Again, fully hot ports, and uh, just have the uh, Sony Exmor sensor in them as well. And that's the one, really, that if you're like if your customer is looking at a Sony or a Panasonic or one of those yep. high-end cameras, that's the one you want to consider. Yep. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Especially if they need Genlock, right? Yeah, which many environments still do yeah if you're running a broadcast switch or anything yeah like that. definitely definitely okay so let's pivot over to cam connect pro okay i want you know the audience to see this shiny little box here <laughs> i think this one is very special mm -hmm. um, so basically you've taken the ai functionality mm -hmm. and put it inside the box yes sir talk to me why what is what is the goal here okay so the goal of this box is to take the positional information from the microphone your ceiling mic it could be a uh a nareva uh soundbar on the wall actually a sennheiser assure or a yamaha uh, take the positional information from the mic uh, process that and tell the camera basically which camera to switch to and what preset to go to so based on whoever's speaking yeah. so it's to accomplish audio preset tracking uh, with pretty much any one of the lumens cameras oh god so any lumens camera can plug in. yes and it's and it doesn't have to plug directly into the box it just no. has to go on the net just on the network yeah the box is on the network your uh, mic array is on the network and your cameras are on the network and uh, everything talks together and then yeah. just it's on the network in the middle now it's got an hdmi port on mm -hmm. talk to us about what here i'm going to flip that over to the audience yeah so you so you've got a couple of there. options with hdmi the hdmi port will allow you to access the built-in gui interface on the box so when you're configuring it or setting it up you can uh, you can get the GUI interface on your display uh, the I will add that the USB ports on the side are for a mouse and keyboard so you can actually control it you can use a computer a web GUI or you can just use the built-in GUI in the box uh, either or the other use for the HDMI port is you can either output your your program uh, out of the USB for Teams or Meet uh, or uh, Zoom, or you can output the uh, program out of the HDMI. That's just a setting inside the GUI interface that you would change. And so, yeah, so utilizing either the HDMI or the USB port there yeah. to connect into that computer. So yeah. if your computer has a capture card, or if you're running this, say, into a switcher or something mm -hmm. else, you can go HDMI. Yep. If or you're going into any kind of AV over IP system, yep, yep. however, the USB port direct into Teams, direct, direct into, into Zoom, yeah. any of those conferencing applications. Exactly. So it's a little mis it's a little misleading at first because when I first look at it, I think like, oh, look, it's got a microphone grill <laughs> there, right? Right. The audio is built in, but no, it's designed to be controlled, yeah, or at least get commands yes. from. Um, you know. So Jordan, did we have the the UI available for that? I know we were playing yeah. around with it earlier. Yeah. I want to pop that up on the screen. 
Uh, Producer Jordan's going to pull this yeah. image up for us. Oh, look, there's me. Hello. <laughs> um, so this is the web UI. And a couple yeah. of things I want to call out is, so you've got your different presets mm -hmm. that you can tie to different positional presets yes. within the microphone system. Yes. So it's not a plug and play system necessarily. No. You, you still got to go in and define when the audio comes from this section, tie that to this camera. Preset. To this camera and this preset. So it could be uh, when audio comes from section one, it's camera one, preset two. Now, how many microphone systems can a single room have? Uh, well, the box is capable of uh, working with 16 microphones. Okay, so this is going to be a really large conference room. Yeah, it could be 16 microphones. The box is also capable of uh, controlling up to four cameras. Okay, got it. Yeah. So four cameras, 16 microphones. So a large classroom yeah. a lar or a large auditorium, mm -hmm. places where you've got the microphone spread out yep. if somebody's building more like a stadium environment. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. By the way, Brandy's calling out that you're doing a good job. Oh, so. okay, good, good. So, so <laughs> and I, I will add uh, about tracking. Um, when when speaking to customers, it's it's really important to uh, make sure you understand what sort of tracking they have in their mind. Whether you know, auto tracking means different things to different people. Yep. And uh, auto tracking in a presentation setting where you have someone at the front of the room, that's that's one thing that would be maybe the TR40 or the TR60. Um, auto tracking in a conference room where you have it picked up by vocals, that would be something like Cam Connect. Well, that, that so, is something we get fairly yeah. often is people call in and say, hey, we're looking for auto tracking. And yeah. they say, well, what's your room look like? Oh, it's yeah. a conference room with a bunch yeah. of people sitting at a conference table. Yeah. Well, that's not a lot of moving around. Yeah. Trying to do that with an AI facial recognition camera, um, it's it's going to be very difficult. So that's where Cam Connect comes. That's where Cam because now yeah. we can mix both. Yep, absolutely. We can have the cam at the front, the, yep. the AI cam, mm -hmm. which is doing facial recognition mm -hmm. moving around, yep. and audio-based triggers as yep. well. Exactly. And another thing I'll add about Cam Connect, we have a, a feature called Center Stage, where um, say if you're in a, a conference room or a meeting room and you have people around a horseshoe table, uh, someone speaks and the camera goes to them and they're slightly off center. Uh, with uh, center stage, it will um, center them in the shot mm. and it will also move about as they move as well. So it I will can't use that. Anybody any leaning over to one side and not staying in the middle of the camera shot? <laughs> no, never. Impossible. The producer's <laughs> going to throw something at me. I can just see it. Yeah. Um, so, so Cam Connect Pro is available? Yes. Yes, okay. it's shipping. Shipping now. Yeah, it's available. And cost-wise? Uh, cost-wise, I believe um, MSRP on the box is, uh, oh gosh, I should know this. Uh, I believe it's about uh, $14.99 or thereabouts. We do have bundles available. So if you're looking for a couple of cameras in the box, um, you can you can get a, a, a obviously a reduced price on a bundle if you're looking for a couple of cameras as well. And in terms of the audio, it's like it's bring your manufacturer of choice right whether you're yes, a sir. house a sennheiser house yes it'll work with any of them yes and and we're adding to that list all the time so uh right. stay tuned stay tuned for uh for more uh audio partners as well jordan we got a couple slides and i want to bounce through these because i want to make sure the, sort of from a customer standpoint they understand kind of where the environments are for this. yeah yeah right so let's, sure let's, uh, move on. Oh. I, I caught him off guard. You put him put him on the spot. I did. I told him. That's okay. Him. Yeah. He, um, he's a pro. He's he's fast. Yeah, yeah. He rolls with a bunch of squid. Yeah. Oh, Brandy is um is correcting you. It's seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. Okay. It's good to have a team. Oh, right? thank thank you, Brandy. I yeah. appreciate that. That's true. She's yeah. A, she's such a fan. Yeah. Good. You know, it's good to have fans <laughs> out there, right? Um, <laughs> So, uh, so a question from the audience is which speakers um, will work with Cam Connect? I think we're, we're thinking microphones. Mm -hmm. um, so, Shure, sure, Sennheiser, Nariva, Nariva, and Yamaha. And Yamaha. Yeah. And so for like the Yamaha, this is the ceiling microphone. Yes, sir. Yeah. The, um, yeah. And then I would assume same for Sennheiser. Yes. Um, the but the Shure, yeah. that works with both the see like the the big room mics or the podiums. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. I think so. 
I the think same, so. Yeah, it was like, well, I read the manual. So you read the manual. Okay, the good. One. Yeah. But um, but so you can trigger based on where the mic okay. is coming from. Okay. Which actually plays really interestingly into like city council. Yeah. Right? Where it's you've got a couple of micro, you know, mm -hmm. couple cameras tracking a bunch of people at a dais. Mm -hmm. And when they trigger their mic and start talking, mm -hmm. it's able to pull right into, yeah. you know, a lockdown. Yeah. Shop. Same with courtrooms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are, you, are we ready to go, sir? Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, he's got me up. Okay, so obviously um, there is AI in this. I think that's yes, the major one. So it's yeah. a combination of both AI and audio, mm -hmm. right, which delivers a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, keep going on this one. This is the Cam Connect. This is what you saw, foles. Um, come and progress me here. Um, so the areas that are big, so right, yeah. right, right out of the gate, corporate boardroom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And again, as we talked, it's about having people sitting down. Yes. And it's sort of solving where the motion tracking yeah it doesn't fail but just as inadequate yes so the boardroom space is where this yeah. is really going to kind of take that yeah. over um what's my next market uh, i want to make sure we hit all the good markets here city government so yeah. this is where i was we going back so city government i think this often we're seeing right now in the city government environments that they have limited staff mm -hmm. yeah it might be the clerk who's running everything yeah yeah you know and so if i can take camera off of the clerk mm -hmm. right and say don't worry about that we got this yeah and tie it to the microphones that makes yeah perfect sense yeah give me another one jordan i want to let's see this is a test if i can figure out education yeah where where in education because here's one of those where i feel like it's sort of a mix the teacher mm -hmm. might move around the room mm -hmm. but then in higher ed we've got audience response sure sure so you can you can set up uh, regions or zones based on your uh, microphone in the ceiling and uh, you know a student from a certain sector speaks the uh, the crowd cam goes to them uh, and at the same time have a uh, AI uh, a camera with built-in AI tracking the teacher that's mounted at the back of the room so you so could that's where expose. that 16 microphone limitation kind of really yeah. swings because it's like mm -hmm. okay, we can have lots of mics mm -hmm. and then uh, you know multiple cameras in the room yep. now there are some other products on the market that are kind of chasing this but they're mm -hmm. server based they're big mm -hmm. they use a lot more everything that we're talking about is contained in this little box here. yeah, yeah. yes sir Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, there's a question. Um, will Camp Connect work with the bank? Yeah, no, so, uh, yeah, totally. Um, thank you, Jordan, for calling that one out. So there's a question from the audience. Will Camp Connect work with NDI in the future? And I, I guess, so from a connection standpoint, mm -hmm. you're connecting to the camera directly over IP. Yes. Across the network. Yes. To be able to pull and control it. Yes. So I guess I get, um, from the audience member standpoint, are we asking about will it switch on NDI or will it control a, an NDI based camera? Mm -hmm. and, and you said it works with all Lumens cameras at this point. Yes. So effectively, it works with the NDI-based cameras. Yes, I, I I believe it would. I I would need to do some uh, asking around. I, I haven't worked with the NDI cameras with Cam Connect uh, specifically, but it does work with uh, all of our cameras, you know, whether it's NDI or not. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. So an NDI-based switching system like a TriCast or, mm -hmm. or a VMix and like that, this could basically be your camera team. Mm -hmm. But then you're pulling the NDI streams directly into your switcher and you're right. able to switch those. Right. So yeah. hopefully, Paul, that answers your question. If not, chime in, let us know. Yeah. We'll find out in about well, the delay here is like 30 seconds. Yeah. So we'll get an answer <laughs> in 30 or so. That's good. Yeah. So I know we've talked about this in past episodes that Lumens is not just a camera company. And I think mm -hmm. tools like this kind of prove that. Sure. So you guys are pivoting into really interesting areas. Mm -hmm. AI and, and audio tracking. Yeah. I want to say auto tracking, but really mm -hmm. it's audio tracking. Mm -hmm. is, yeah. is a big one. But AV over IP is a space. Yes, sir. As well. Yeah. And there were some big announcements at NAB and Infocom yeah. around your next iteration of AV over IP. Yeah, we Talk about it. yeah we have a new uh, AV over IP solution that's going to be coming out here in the next uh, probably the next couple of months, I would say. And uh, it's a in uh, an AV over IP solution that will work in a NDI environment, NDI HX3. Um, you know, RTSP, uh, SRT, and um, you know, we have a number of different options available, and we're also going to have a Dante version of the AV over IP available as well. So you've got a AV over IP system that's going to sort of support all the flavors of the rainbow, right? Yeah. When it comes to streaming mm -hmm. and, and and yep, depending on the yeah. environment you're working in, we're gonna we're gonna have that available. And true to your other AV over IP systems, you also have a control UI to kind of mm -hmm. manage it. Is that UI going to work with with the new? Or AV over IP systems as well? 
Uh, I'm not sure whether that existing controller will work. You won't need the controller for the new AV over IP system because everything's going to work with a built-in uh, GUI interface. Got it. So you can just plug them onto the network mm -hmm. and fire them, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't yeah. have to have a separate subnet. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I was reading through some of the docs, and there's some really interesting USB functionality. Yeah. Doing USB sort of reverse yeah. data flow for conference room setup. Yeah. And so very excited to see where yeah. that is. So you, your decoder, which is uh, typically at the uh, display end of things, that's got a USB port where you can actually connect a uh, webcam to it, and it'll run uh, your USB signal uh, over the system and uh, out of the encoder into your computer what have you so you can extend usb over the solution yeah and that's that's a very common request right now yeah because people are trying to figure out how do i integrate usb devices into my av over ip system mm -hmm. how do i yeah. pass that around so it's exciting to see you all are focused on that right now. yeah um what else do we need to know here now? Well, in addition to the AV over IP, uh, we also have our Capture Vision station as well, our media processors. We just got some upgrades. Yeah. Well, our LC200 has been our workhorse. That is the uh, four-channel uh, four unit that uh, we've put in a lot of higher ed institutions and meeting rooms, put a lot of them into courtrooms. We now have the LC100, which is a two-channel model. Um, the two-channel model also uh, has the balanced audio inputs and uh, will uh, take a USB camera as well. We're coming out with the LC300 pretty soon, which is going to be a full NDI unit that is nice. four-channel and uh, it'll have 12 GSDI inputs as well. So uh, that's going to be a more professional model, fully featured. Uh, 4K, I'm assuming. Yeah, what I'm hearing. Yep. Okay. yep, absolutely. And what's the ETA on this one? ETA on that, I want to say, is probably, I'd have to say, late October. Late October. Oh, so coming yeah. fast. Yeah, okay. yeah. And so, I mean, in, in case anybody hasn't seen this yet, these are four channel recorders mm -hmm. and they do switching, they yeah. do streaming. Streaming. Yeah, it's a very well, yeah. you know, sort of the endowed box yeah so yeah yep. a right? switching recording streaming appliance that'll record on an internal hard drive let you arrange your windows however you want to arrange them quad view picture in picture picture by picture single view uh, and it'll stream up to three streams simultaneously yep and panopto certified Big your pardon? You guys are, you're, you're working with Panopto yep, on this? Yeah, so yeah. Panopto certification. Yes, yes. You've got lots of capability there. Yes, sir. Um, so from an, from an educate or I guess from a client standpoint, who are, mm -hmm. the, who are the sort of the target clients for this? Target clients for this, uh, again, higher ed. I've put a lot of these into uh, colleges for lecture capture. Uh, I've actually put a lot of these into courtrooms for uh, capturing of uh, court proceedings. And, uh, yeah, we, we put them into meeting rooms, put them into churches. I mean, during COVID, uh, we had a number of House of Worship customers uh, implement a system like this so that they could stream out to, uh, to parishioners that weren't uh, local. And I guess one of the, the, the big points of this one is just ease of use. Yeah. Everything you can do in this, you can do pretty much from the front panel. Yeah. Very cleanly, just hit simple buttons and yeah. kind of navigate the system. Yep. Um, but and there the is a very nice web UI as well if you want to get yeah. more complicated with it. And still the the web GUI is very easy to use as well. Yeah, yeah it's very self-explanatory. So I guess you know this kind of drives back to that original question which is you know what is Lumens up to? And mm -hmm. It's a lot. Yeah. You guys have got a very diverse portfolio yeah. over the last 3 years from a just a camera company mm -hmm. to a complete solution yeah. company. Well we're at our at our core we're an optics company. You know, image quality, optical products is, is really a passion for us. But um, over the last number of years, we've really wanted to move in the direction of becoming a solutions provider. Mm -hmm. And uh, th that's where the AV over IP and the uh, media capture boxes have come in. And, you know, we want to we want to be able to create an ecosystem that uh, is, is going to help customers uh, you know, receive the results that they're looking for. So really, we want to be considered not just as a camera company, but a solutions provider. And we're adding to those solutions all the time I mean we even have uh, we even have fiber optic uh, uh, HDMI and USB extenders so uh, that's something that a lot of people didn't realize again speaking to that uh, solutions provider um, mentality that we're going for a so bit of everything yeah exactly uh, for those who are wondering um, because I know we, we we have a lot of clients that are selling into government, into more secure facilities. Um, how much of the product that you all are bringing to the table is uh, TAA compliant? Probably 90%. Nice. 
but uh, we we have a uh, we have a, a printout details I believe on our website showing you the specific model numbers if there is a concern or you wanting to double check something. Um, I believe that resource is on our website. If not, reach out to uh, your Lumens representative, uh, uh, JBNA, and um, request that information. We can get it to you. Yeah, and then I know for some of them as well, NDAA compliance is also mm -hmm. important. Yes. Yeah. You know, be yep. verified as well. Yep, exactly. So yep. it covers a lot of bases. Yes, sir. Well, it looks like we've been answering the questions from the audience as we go. If anybody's got anything, now is the time to shove it in. Yeah. Um, anything else we need to hit before uh, we... Um. I mean, we cover I'll, I'll just I'll just I'll, I'll just add that everything that we um, everything that we do uh, now comes with a five year warranty. Yeah. So we provide you the support that you need. Uh, we also have a tech support chat line, a 24 hour chat line. So um, hopefully there's not a lot of tech support need out there. But uh, if there is, we have a 24 hour chat support that uh, you can access resources um, is it a human after hours. Or is it a robot? I mean, no, it's a human. It's okay. not a robot. Okay. No, no, no robots okay. here. Just all human. But uh, just a couple of extra little bits I'd add in there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Silas, I don't know if that's a question. Uh, loyal listener Silas said, broadcast, NDI, esports, camera, and storage. Hmm. I don't know if that's a question or a statement that you're all, hmm. you guys are everywhere. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, Want to wind it down, but it just is a highlight reel Cam Connect Pro mm -hmm. audio and AI uh, mm -hmm. controller. Yeah. The new TR60 yeah. with Dante or mm -hmm. without. Yes. All right. So you've got all that coming. Mm -hmm. The new LC300 launching mm -hmm. in October. Yes, sir. And then the all the new AV over IP tools. Yeah. What was the dates on? Right. What's the expectation on those? Uh, AV over IP. And when I give these dates, obviously they're subject we to change. To you. Thank, you. Gonna, Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I, I would say, uh, I would say October sometime. This doesn't publish for yeah. a month anyway. So, you know, <laughs> no, by the time everybody watches this, just kidding. Yep. Um, yeah, well, it'll be a little while out. Yeah. So lots of great releases yep. through the end of the year. I'll, I'll also add that we now, uh, we're, we're coming out with the, uh, TR40N, which is an NDI version of the TR40 tracking camera. The tracking, an NDI yeah. based tracking yes. camera. Yes. Yes. NDI. Uh, N. Yeah. Marvelous. Yeah. All right. I love it. I love it. I don't see any other questions from the audience. So with that, we're going to call this episode of Texplanation over and out. All right. Thanks, audience, for being here. Thanks, Chris, for bringing here and bringing some new toys for us. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me, Nick.